Hello YouTube again, this is Dumas RLC from uh, Instagram and uh, Lambda Group and all that. Uh, another video I'm going to try to do today. This is a going to be an old case unboxing from Johnny Lightning from 2016. Um, I had, even though when round two, after round two, picked them up, I remember seeing a lot of the stuff in the stores. I didn't really pick them up that much at the time, I just wasn't my collecting habits were kind of changing a little bit at the time and I just didn't pick up a lot of stuff and I've kind of gone back to get stuff. Um, with this mix, uh, this is from Street... 2016, it was Street Freaks Release 2. Um, at the time, they did four colors for each of the... Yeah, they did four colors of each of the uh, cars for Release 2 in 2016 and they, also, they, they did the same thing for the first release in uh, 2017. Um... So right now, I was able to pick up a, what I thought was a sealed case on eBay. Uh, it was for two sets. I actually only opened it because I saw it was a 12, and I was really confused. I did not realize they came in 12, in a pack of 12. Um, I only I only opened it just to uh, double-check, just from a quick glance, see if all 12 cars were there, and they were. So might as well, let's take a quick look and see what... The whole mix was. I'm sure a lot of you may have seen these before. Might be new to some of you. I have no idea, but we'll find out together. <laughs> All right. So first, we come up with uh, Surfrod's VW bus. Uh, well, type 64 VW Type 2 transporter. Um, not necessarily a casting I wouldn't normally collect for myself, but it is a it is a nice casting for what it is for sure. Um, Obviously, with the whole surf deco and everything like that. Looking back, I actually don't know if there were four colors of this one specifically. I know for the Nomad, the Malibu Zing, both the Zingers, the Charger, and the George Bears Phaeton definitely had four colors. The Roadster, I'm not 100% certain on either. Because um, I think looking at these, it looked like they were the same, but I would have to look closely. However... Being a casting I don't necessarily collect, probably won't bother. But it's nice to have. Um, now, looks like next up is the 57 Chevy Nomad. Now, this this was one of the two, two main reasons I picked up the case. Because these Nomads, along with the Malibus from this release, are not easy to come by, at least for halfway decent price basically the price i paid for all 12 of these cars i probably could have spent the exact same just to get two of this lime nomad and two of the uh malibu there in this mix um I, now with and considering with the street freaks these are re, this is one of the few things i'm gonna start i want carded and i want a loose version of so i'll actually probably open up one of these at the end of the video um, there were th of the other of the four colors released. One was orange with white flames. One was red with red with blue flames. One was blue with white flames, and obviously this lime one. This one's actually probably my favorite one of the full set of the full set of four nomads. Um, I just I think the lime just pops. I always like I always like seeing flames with kind of weird colors, like black with green flames is probably my all time favorite. Uh, look for a paint job for that and I know I don't remember if Johnny Lightning has done one of those but we'll I'll find out later on all right let's see next we got okay here's the mallet huh it's got the wrong card in there <laughs> that okay interesting well, anyway, this is the 81 Chevy Malibu. This one's in obviously orange and white. I can't now with all the zingers, they gave them custom, they would give them custom names. Like this one's first first off the lime for the nomad. Kind of a play on obviously a pun. I can't remember what they called this one. I would have to look at the uh Wyatt's index to verify. But again, this was another reason, main reason I picked these up, picked this uh case up from the guy. It is funny. We got the wrong card in there, though. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else. All right. It looks like here's the Phaeton. Now, this is this one. I 
I actually don't know a whole lot about this one. I know there was a few releases before um, Giant Lightning took a break for a while before round two picked them up. Um, but yeah, this one is really nice casting um, I, based off an actual car George Bears built. Um, simple, black with yellow, red, yellow flames with the red, red outline on it. Brown roof. I believe those are removable. We'll find out, and I'll open one here in a second. And what else we got here? Let's see. Here's the Roadster. Okay, so I know recently I picked up a white one. So, okay, so this one must have had, definitely had four colors, because obviously it's gray with the red scallops. So, I don't have that one. Anyway, this one's blue with silver scallops. This is a Honestly, a sharp looking T, uh, T Roadster, old school, old school hot rod. Love, I love these kind of cars. Just broad, no frills, engine in a chassis, basically. <laughs> and lastly, the two cars I definitely didn't need because I ended up already picking up. Uh, this uh, charger, the spoilers charger. I have all four colors of these already, carded and loose. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. I'll probably just see if I can pawn them off cheap somewhere or something. But yep, I 67 charger with these. Actually, kind of a sentimental thing for me. Uh, growing up, my dad was still friends with one of his buddies from from high school, who actually owned a set a 60. I don't remember if it was the 66 or 67 Charger, but it was a fastback like this. And every time we would go over to his house, he was a big train collector. I always loved going over there. And he, whenever we would go over, he and Dad would be talking or whatever, and he would flip, flip on the switch, turn all the trains on. And it, was like, it was went all over. It's like the entire basement was an entire system of model trains. It was it was awesome when I was a kid. Um but he had he had a '66 or '67 Charger fastback sitting in the always sitting in the drive. I always loved seeing that thing. I think it was like a metallic blue color. I don't remember. If, I don't think it was an original color, but loved seeing that thing. Uh, fortunately, him and my dad had a falling out. I don't know years ago, and I never saw I never saw him or the Charger again. But unfortunately, he uh, dad my father found out he passed away a few years back. So, yeah, we might as well go in order of what I had on top of there. The Blue Tea Roadster. Open her up. Maybe. Card stayed in the thing. <laughs> well, I usually tape them. It's not now. Anyway. Yeah, yeah just a old school looking hot rod for sure. It's a plate say. Salt, okay, so salt flat, like uh, depicted on the card there. So definitely a fun little casting. I, I'm gonna, definitely gonna have to get the other uh, three colors of this one at some point. Let's see now the Malibu. This one, like I said, I've really kind of come into uh, really enjoying the uh, Zingers line from Hot, from Johnny Lightning and. The Malibu was a, fa was a favorite of mine. I love seeing the boxier cars in this style, especially like the 70s or 80s vehicles. Like, I don't know why. I have no idea why. It's just something that just appeals to me. Oh, something on the roof there. Yeah, whatever. So, oh, it's a metallic orange. I thought it was more enamel. I didn't realize it had a little bit of flake to it. Okay, nice. Um, I actually have another one of these loose. It was from the, uh, the debut of the, of this, of the Zinger version of this from a, uh, Toys R Us five pack. It was actually, those five packs were, uh, the, <laughs> the Malibu was actually featured in a, uh, kind of like a, like a solid chrome, chrome plastic blister that, so you couldn't see what the car actually was. So you wouldn't know if it was a white lightning or not, unless you opened the package. It was really neat. Ended up picking one one of those up a few years, a couple years ago. Oh, love this car. I definitely I need the other ones loose for sure. 
So the other one, I know the other ones are red with the white, uh, red with black, and the other ones, it's like kind of like a bluish teal with the white. I have two of them carded, but I still need to get uh, loose ones of them. Go with the Phaeton next. Now, one thing I was really curious about on this, can I remove the roof? I don't know. Nope, that's on there. Okay, so that might not pop out. Yeah, that doesn't pop out. Okay. Either way, nice casting. I believe these are based off of a late 40s Ford. Or early, maybe an early 40s Ford. I should know that. I'm not 100% certain. I think it's an early 40s Ford. Based on that, looks like the, uh, based on the rear fenders here, I think that's a, yeah, like a 41 Ford, I think. Could be wrong, maybe, but I'll have to look that up more. And lastly, the card there, the Lime Nomad. This uh, metallic lime color, the yellow flames, is not a typical flame look, and I just, I love these looks. Always have, ever since I was a kid. Am I actually on camera there? There we go. <laughs> Still getting used to uh, sitting these right so that the camera actually picks them up. Off-white roof. Nice zinger. Put that up there with it. All right. So, a shorter video this time, but that's, uh, that was the 2016 release 2 version D of uh, Giant Lightning Street Freaks. Um, and that's it for this one. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy, like to hear me ramble or anything like that. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, I guess that's it. All right. Take care, everyone. See ya. Stop rolling. There we go.